we have storm warnings pretty much the whole day today, including rip current warnings. So instead of beach day today, we're gonna do some uh, back to school shopping because the kids are going back to school in just a few days. And uh, there's huge outlet malls here. So here we go. out and so we decided to actually go hit the Ponce de Leon Fountain of Youth and this is a, a major attraction here in St. Augustine and we've just never done it before so we're really interested to find it out um, more about it and find out what's here it looks like there's a lot of historical uh, artifacts and information that's here so we're really interested in finding out all of that cool stuff right now we're just grabbing some french fries and a cold drink and acting a fool. <laughs> Oh yeah. What's up, Peacocker? <laughs> oh my god. Look at this guy. <laughs> he just like totally plops right there. <laughs> that is cool. I don't know what those are. Are those cannonballs? God, they're pretty big. <laughs> I know, but those are pretty big. Yeah, this is one of the very few toxic palm trees. Let's see it. Oh my God, yay. Cool souvenir. <laughs> the most rope uses the least strength. Should have brought my rod. Ooh, this looks amazing. When I was a kid growing up in Florida, there were no mangroves this far north, but climate change has done its work and there are now mangroves here in St. Augustine. And they've really taken over these grass flats. Oops, I'm not supposed to be on there. And they are beautiful and they offer great habitat, but they really don't belong here. 
Oh, there's a bird in the water. <laughs> Guys are peacocking to the peacock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tastes like sands. Tastes like sands. Tastes like water. water. <laughs> okay. Is the fountain of youth cool? Back at the house now and taking a break from getting everything packed up. We are loading up the truck tonight, including the kayaks. And uh, that way we'll get a fresh start very early in the morning and just be ready to hit the road bright and early. Uh, so this is our last night here. We're just taking our time, making sure that we've got everything packed up. Not the most exciting thing to show you guys, but I did wanna just kind of wrap up this video. We had a great time at the Fountain of Youth. It was kind of a surprise because we had always heard, oh, it's nothing, it's just this little dribble of water, which the fountain itself is just a little dribble of water. But the archeological dig around it and the, the historical sites and information are just really fascinating. I learned a lot. I thought it was very informative and very interesting as well. I always love learning more Florida history because I am from Florida and I love the state and especially St. Augustine, the oldest city in our country, the oldest city in America. It's beautiful and it's historical and there's a lot of really uh, fascinating stuff that you can learn about this area, not just about the native population of Native Americans, but also where they came from and who else was here. Uh, Florida, this area of North Florida actually became a major destination for freed slaves as well as Native Americans. And so you have a really, really diverse population that really created and settled this area. You have Native Americans who originally emigrated from all over the Mayan Peninsula and South America. And then later on, you had these freed slaves who came here and settled as freedmen and one of the largest freedmen's um, settlements is right here in St. Augustine. So there's a lot of really wonderful and fascinating American history right here in St. Augustine. It's not just beaches. And so we got a chance to learn a little bit more about all of that really cool stuff today. And if you're in this area, I definitely, definitely recommend going to the Fountain of Youth. It's not just a little dribble, which is kind of what I had always heard. Um, it's really great, and the peacocks were fun too. <laughs> well, we have successfully gotten the kayaks onto the truck. Uh, <laughs> that's a little bit harder than it sounds when you have two kids and a fat old lady, <laughs> but we did it. That is how they look. We're gonna do a little test drive this evening and uh, make sure that everything is stable and solid uh, before we start our thousand mile road trip tomorrow morning.